Welcome to the video. Hi, my name is Paisley Mercury. Today we're going to be talking about my trash. We're going to be going through my March empties. This is everything that I finished between now and my previous empties. Make sure to check that out if you love talking about empty products, things that have been completely used up. So that way I can give you my full review on them, talk about my entire experience from the beginning to the end, and discuss whether or not I would repurchase these products. I really love empties because I, first of all, I'm a very nosy person. I want to know what people are using. I love hearing about different people's nighttime routines, skincare routines, body care routines, and empties I feel gives all of that. Makeup can be really difficult to finish all the way up because a makeup product could be in your life for a whole year. And with empties, you're seeing a little bit more of the day-to-day. -day. So let's talk about what I've been using up on the day-to-day. -day. I've got quite a few in here. I'm really excited. And I do have some makeup products, so that's also exciting. Please, in the comments, let me know what you've recently finished up. I would love to hear what's your favorite in your skincare, body care, nighttime routine. Now let's get into it. If you enjoyed this video while you're watching, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost to 100 subscribers, like literally I cry. It just makes me so happy. And yeah, I'm just so excited to get to know more of y'all. Please say hello in the comments. The first item we're going to start off with is a makeup item. This is the Cult Classic. If you have been in the makeup game for a long time, then you might recognize this. This is the Revlon Lip Butter. This one's the shade Sugar Frosting. I'm so sad about this one because it is so beautiful. This honestly feels like a historical artifact to me. It's the perfect cool baby pink. It's just so lovely. It's not like all the way done, but I still wanted a little bit of color there to remind me. And I'll be putting this in my makeup memories box. It is just so darling. These Revlon lip butters were released I think in 2012. They were either released or discontinued in 2012 and they have rave reviews. These Revlon lip butters have such a cult following. If you have never seen a crowd of crazed fans, please check the online Google blogs for the Revlon lip butters. They have a huge fan following. I think we're pretty devoted. We my biggest plea is to Revlon, please, please, please bring them back. They kind of brought them back with the Revlon Glass Shine lipsticks. I really, really enjoyed those. They're not the same. Those are a lot more glossy. This, I think, is just, oh, so good. And I think coming, if they came back now, it would be perfect timing because these have similar to a lip balm texture, but it's not super stiff. Whereas the Glass Shine lipsticks were a lip gloss in a tube, this is more of a elevated, elegant lip balm lipstick. And it came in so many shades. I actually have a bunch of these. I have like a little secret stash. I, I just love a lot of discontinued old like vintage products. I really enjoy them. And so yeah, I finished this one. I do have another one that I'm working on, but now I'm like scared to use it. But enough about this. It's emptied. I finished it up. It was just the most beautiful centerpiece to pretty much all of my Y2K inspired makeup looks. I just adored this. I adored this. Ooh. And I'm so sad to, to let it go. I would repurchase it if it was still out. If you know something that's similar to this, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know so that way I can be on the hunt. The next makeup empty I have... This one's particularly juicy. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Finishing Powder. Wow. Wow. Look at that pan. It's just so satisfying. It's so pretty. It's so, oh, this powder I highly, highly, highly recommend. It's a major dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder. 
it's very blurring it comes in quite a few shades this is just beautiful skin in a pan i finished quite a few pressed and loose powders from the drugstore and this one stands heads and shoulders above all of them it's just softly blurring it sets your makeup it doesn't ever look cakey it's just so lovely i'm sad that i panned it but i have another one that i'm working on so i'm not too sad about that and i just highly recommend this the only time I'm able to find this is on Target's website. I don't know if they're discontinuing it. I hope they're not, but that's where you can find it. I highly recommend checking it out. There's at least uh, four shades, if I remember correctly. If you have this, if you've used it, let me know how you liked it. Yeah, I... Yes, I'm just glad. It's in my everyday makeup bag, so if you want to hear more about it, make sure to watch that video. The next product I've emptied is this... Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This lip balm is the perfect cross between a lip gloss and a lip balm. It is incredibly cosmetically elegant. You don't need to carry around a lipstick when you carry this in your purse because it has just a hint of color. It looks really beautiful. It's not medicinal feeling in the way that a lot of lip balms feel and this was just an absolute pleasure to use. This is the second one that I finished and I would repurchase it. I finished a few more lip balms, one of which being the Smith's Rosebud Salve in the rose scent. I guess that's what the rosebud means. This, I have had this for a very, very long time. I don't know if I would repurchase this one in particular because I love the strawberry one so much better. It is a very classic petroleum-based lip balm, very, very occlusive, so it protects your lips. I think this would be great before bedtime. It's great to throw in your backpack. It doesn't have anything too strong in terms of scent or taste. The rose scent is not bad at all. I think it's actually pretty neutral, but again, the strawberry scent is my favorite, and I also really enjoy the tropical ambrosia scent as well. I would recommend this. I think this is a great basic lip balm. I think this is way more occlusive. This is a little bit more skincare medicinal than the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, but I think they are different enough to serve different purposes. The next two products that I finished are also discontinued from a brand that is still around, technically, but you can't buy them in store, um, but you can't buy them in Sephora or Ulta anymore. Their products are still available, but you have to go to their lip labs, which I vlogged about in my LA vlog. I'll link that um, in the cards and down below. The lip products I'm about to mention are so well loved and I'm so sad <laughs> that I can't get them anymore, but I held on to them and I really savored them. And that is the Agave lip mask. So I, I have here the Agave Plus Nighttime Lip Therapy and look at that incredibly pleasing empty container. I'm going to save this container and use it as a travel container. Very occlusive. It is a little bit of lanolin which they took out of their formulas when they rebranded and remarketed everything as vegan because of course lanolin is an animal byproduct. So this lip balm had a complete formula change. People hated it. I think this is the original one and I'm glad that I was able to use it and enjoy it while I had it. I can't repurchase it anymore and I'm on the hunt for something that's similar to this that is occlusive and protective. It's a great barrier for your lips at night to prevent your lips from losing so much moisture. I finished up the accompanying agave lip mask and it was in this little tube. I just squeezed the ever living juice out of it. It was so, so good. I would totally repurchase it if it wasn't discontinued and I'm on the hunt for something similar. So if you know of something similar to the Bite Agave lip mask, please let me know. And now I understand the sadness that people have felt over the loss of this. Now we're on to skincare. My first skincare empty is this Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. So this is the Can Make sunscreen that is so, so popular. I really, really enjoyed this. I used it up from my everyday makeup bag and I have another one that I'm going to crack open uh, once I finish the Murad SPF. This is just so lovely. It's very moisturizing. It has a little bit of a glow, nothing too dramatic in my opinion. I don't feel like I look like 
a Tin Man. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. You can't buy it on Amazon anymore, but I know that it's still available on Yes Style. This, I think, is just a fantastic SPF, and I can't wait to purchase it again soon. From start to finish, this was just an absolute pleasure to use. I didn't feel like I needed to use primer because I would apply this, my skin would be moisturized, I had that sun protection, and I was able to go into my makeup and my makeup would last all day. It wouldn't make my makeup slide off or anything like that. So I can't wait to have this in my life again. The next skincare item I have is this Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. This is one of my favorite face scrubs to travel with because it has combination chemical exfoliants and physical exfoliants. So this at the drugstore, it's a few dollars, nothing too expensive. It has that combo physical and chemical exfoliation, so I think it's a powerful two-in-one. It's not too extreme, so it's not going to make your skin feel raw or red afterwards unless you have incredibly sensitive skin. I think this is particularly great for travel because when you feel like you haven't been able to do your your deep skincare routine for a while and you feel like you're getting a little bit of the wear of being on the road, I think this is great to slough all of it off. And this is also great for your elbows, knees, before a wax. I think that this is a great product to use as well. And it just hits the perfect spot. It's not too extreme. It's not so gentle that it's ineffective. So I recommend this. I've used this up several times and I will definitely repurchase. The next skincare item I have here is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I adore this. For me, this is my favorite makeup remover cleansing oil point blank period. Right now I'm working on a different one for my project pan. It's fine, but I miss this one so badly. This is just absolutely fantastic. I use this as my first cleanse to remove my makeup. My skin gets so clean with this. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like it's been stripped of all moisture at all. I'm also able to do, I think it's called oil plugging. You can apply this onto your clean face like after, so I'll first cleanse with this, follow it up with a cleanser, and then sometimes I'll go in with this again and I'll be able to pull out what I think are called sebaceous filaments. It's an oil, so when you put it on, it's smooth, but then I'll start to feel like a little bit of grittiness from maybe loose dirt or grime on my face. I don't know how to describe it. If you know what I'm talking about, please, please, like, chat with me in the comments because I, the phenomenon is pretty exciting. It's like gross, but also like kind of delicious at the same time. I think this is fantastic. I'm not able to do that with a lot of other cleansing oils and this has just stood by me. It's got me and I really enjoy it for that reason. And I definitely will be repurchasing. I do have a little skincare sample here from Laneige. I think I got this when I purchased something from Sephora, and this is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. A lot of people have said that they don't like this. I only tried it once, but the time that I used it, it actually felt different. I felt like I had a film on my face when I woke up, which to some people, I can understand why that would be really gross, but to me, I kind of liked it. There's a little bit of probiotic complex, it says, to help with texture while you sleep. And I'm very intrigued by that. I would be interested in getting a full size of this or at least one of the smaller trial sizes to try it out. I want to know if you've used this, what your review is. I would like to know. I only used it one time. I had a pretty positive interaction with it. And this particular note might not be of, <laughs> might not be that helpful to you. But for me, check it out. So me to myself, check it out, okay? <laughs> Up next, we'll talk about hair care. And this one I'm going to talk about is delightful. It's the Batiste Dry Shampoo for Brunettes. I got this as a gift. My friend, when she went back to Blonde, she gave me a few, of, um, a few bottles of this, and I am so thankful. Before this, I thought dry shampoo was just never gonna be for me because it was just so white and powdery and gross feeling. And honestly, I felt like I would use dry shampoo and my hair would feel dirtier than before I sprayed it in. And this has solved so many of those issues that I had previously because with this, 
My hair feels clean when I use it. Obviously, I still need to wash my hair. This is not, I, I don't feel that this is a replacement for washing your hair, but this will get me through, in my opinion, two days of not washing before I'm like, okay, I need to wash my hair. And I generally wash my hair once a week at least. I used it today actually, and I feel like my hair doesn't look greasy or anything. This, it sprays brown, it doesn't stain your scalp or anything like that. It can look a little gray in some areas, but once you rub it in and brush it out, there's absolutely nothing. Honestly, like as you're rubbing it in, it disappears. And this dry shampoo has just changed the game. It's totally changed my opinion of dry shampoo. I highly recommend this if you're a brunette and you've been struggling to find a, sh a dry shampoo that doesn't make you look like you're powdering a wig. I think it's really good. Once I finish the bottles that I have, I will definitely be repurchasing this. The next one I have here is historical to my heart, basically. I have the Suave Keratin Infusion Smoothing Shampoo. I know I finished the conditioner in a previous empties, so you can hear my review about that in that other video. And I was really into the Suave Keratin Infusion, like the smoothing. I think it was called like Suave Sleek. I was super into that in middle school and high school when I was really into blowouts and flat ironing my hair. I felt like it really helped with battling my frizz. I have definitely moved away from it. I have different preferences now. The scent of this takes me back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm... I'm 13 again, begging my mom, please, please, please dry my hair because I don't want to. <laughs> so yeah, thanks mom for helping me with that. I don't see myself repurchasing this anytime in the near future. It was fine, it, was, it worked, but honestly I would recommend the coconut shampoo and conditioner instead over this. When I allowed my hair to air dry and have it be naturally curly, it would look really cute if I added a little bit of gel, otherwise it was like Otherwise, my hair looked a little bit too fluffy for my taste. It was fine, but I am i got it for the memories, I had the memories, and now I'm ready to pass this along and not have it in my life again. I have a little hair mask here. This is the Smoothing Hair Mask from Hosk. My mom got this for me. Thanks, Mom. And I think this is a great no-fuss, no-muss hair mask. I think I got probably two uses out of it, and my hair felt nice and smooth afterwards. I think this is a great pickup at the store if your hair needs a little pick-me-up, and I know I do. I mean, honestly, a hair mask can only go so far. I'm in dire need of a haircut. I cannot wait to see my bestie, Ashton. My bestie and my best hairstylist, Ashton, from B Salon. She's amazing. I love her. Ashton, if you're watching this, I miss you. And... Honestly, like, hair masks are great. Also make sure that you're getting a little trim, getting all the dead ends off, because honestly, when I was editing my everyday makeup bag, my hair looked cute, but like, also editing it back, I was like, I need, my hair needs help. <laughs> Besides that, yes, I would recommend that. I need a haircut. I Make sure to get your ends trimmed, y'all, okay? Now let's move along. Now we're talking about body care. I finished another one of my Nivea body washes. I'll let you watch another empties video so you can hear me rave all about these. I finished an Olay Shea Plus Manuka Honey body wash. This is the Moisture Ribbons. This scent, okay, I know I said the Jasmine Petals was the best. Honey is coming. It's so good, it smells delicious. This scent is just so luxurious. This smells expensive. This smells like a very fancy spa. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I would most definitely repurchase. I have a few other body care products that I need to use up, but I'll be getting this one again, and I'll be getting it again soon because it was just such a joy to use. It smells so good. It lathers well. You feel moisturized, not stripped. I cannot recommend this highly enough. Yes. Next I have a body lotion. This is the Nivea Aloe Vera body lotion. This is delightful. It absorbs really quickly into the skin. It smells wonderful. If you hate lotion, try this lotion out. I think this is great for summer and for, like I said, those who hate body lotion because it absorbs really quickly. You don't feel like 
you're thick or heavy. It's not going to tackle um, really dry elbows, knees, but it still moisturizes very well. It's silky. This is silky smooth skin in a bottle. I think this is quite fantastic and I highly recommend this and I cannot wait to repurchase it. Now here I have the Soap and Glory Simply the Boost body scrub. This is the grapefruit and rhubarb scent. I think it smells pretty delightful. I have a smidge left in here, but I wanted to include it in this video because it was just so close. And as you can see here, it's these like pink grits, pink grittiness. This is fantastic. It lathers. So if you are looking for a body scrub that's a lot more oily. This is not the one, but the lather is great so you feel like you're really getting a deep cleanse. I definitely use this before I get a wax, and I highly recommend this one as well. I really enjoyed this one. I will definitely be welcoming this one back into my life. I'm raving about so many products. I'm really happy that this time around I actually got a lot of good a lot of good things. Thankfully there's nothing too horrible. <laughs> now we're winding down with the last few products. I have the Suave Tropical Paradise deodorant. I've talked about this before. It's fantastic. Keeps my underarms dry. It smells really good. Degree and Dove, those deodorants don't hold a candle to this one. This is way less expensive, way more effective, smells really really good. I don't even think about messing with any of the other deodorants because this one just has my back. That's it. <laughs> I have the Colgate Renewal Revitalizes Gums, the Sensitivity Repair. I thought this was pretty good. I've been going a lot more simple in terms of toothpaste, but this is a nice fresh toothpaste. It's not gritty. It's just like a gel. It's a light blue gel, very fresh afterwards. It's pretty good. I got this with a coupon. Otherwise, it's like kind of expensive. I can't believe that there are some toothbrushes, toothbrushes. There's some toothpaste that are really like $10 a bottle, but I enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something like that, here it is. I finished the Listerine Total Care Zero Alcohol. Y'all, I had previously talked about how I was so excited about zero alcohol mouthwash, but I am... First of all, having nightmares <laughs> about, um, like, do y'all have nightmares about teeth? Like, about your teeth? Like, dental nightmares? Let me know. Like, I'm kind of into the meanings of dreams and stuff like that, and it's really interesting. But anyway, back to the zero alcohol thing. I finished a few of these. I like it. It doesn't burn my mouth, but y'all, this does not do anything about gingivitis or gum disease. Like, I didn't think about that. So now I'm using an alcohol mouthwash that burns my mouth, but as I'm using it, I'm just thinking, okay, like, I need to cut, I need to keep my gums in my mouth because all these other reasons, it's kind of unbelievable how important dental care is. So that's why I keep talking about it in my, um, in my videos. So yeah, make sure that you're using an alcohol mouthwash, if you can, with to take care of your gums. So I didn't know, but now you know. Will not be repurchasing. And then the last thing is I have a little contact solution. I thought for a long time that I had to get like fancy name brands, but the Equate multi-purpose solution has worked pretty well. And yeah, that's all of my empties. That is everything that I finished in the past month. Those are my full reviews, top to bottom, very thorough. And yeah, thankfully everything was pretty good. I really appreciate you spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more from me. I'll make sure to link my empties playlist down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please chat with me down below in the comments. I love, love, love to hear what y'all think of these. What y'all? I want to know what y'all have been finishing up. And let me know your thoughts. I just want to know how you're doing, like what you're up to. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.